Thursday is here. T Dubs likes to watch this weird Jane something Jane show. Jane Gordon is a yeah. with us. It's some weird show. <laughs> it was pouring out here, guys. Like hurricane winds, <laughs> like maybe 30 minutes ago. I uh, dressed up my heart. I kind of trimmed it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was pouring. Now it's all gone. So you kind of see the tail end of some of the clouds out there, but it was dark. Sun and going on. I'm watching a little bit of Days of Thunder, but there's a load for JB Hunt that's been up for a while going to um, Arcadia, kind of south of Orlando, by about 80 miles. And we'll see if that one comes for wishings. But uh, they're calling me a lot and they finally counter 22. So if they do 23, I'll, I'll go get it. Sticky man. Sticky man, huh? Landon back because he's sticky. Kason uh, found a frog and Cash is now holding him. Uh oh. So I think we might get that load. Um, he just counter offered. Well, they first were at like 18 and then they went to two and then 22 and now it's 22 75, 74. Uh, I said 22 88. <laughs> I love the number 88. So if they get that, then uh, we'll finish Days of Thunder, head up the hill and go get it. It doesn't deliver till Saturday, but hopefully I can get something out of Savannah Saturday or Sunday and, or maybe I'll just go. Take a trip down to the to uh, Orlando. Who knows? What are you eating? Soup, chili. Oh, yummy! Oh, chili mac. We got the load, so I'm gonna go put some shirt uh, pants on and go pick it up. All righty. Awesome for Thursday. What are you doing? Making a house for. Making a house for your frog. You're outside jumping in the rain, so you're in your boxers. <laughs> okay. Your brother's around here somewhere too. You and your boxers too, playing out in the rain. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Take a shower and get going. <laughs> Man, I want to finish the good old cold trickle. Kylan pulls pictures off the wall to show me what kind of candy he wants. Yes, Kai. Oh, you want to wave at me? Okay. He had a wreck before, so now he's scared to go back through it. Yeah, baby. Oh, look what happened. Oh, he's gonna make it. Mellow yellow. He got through it. Oh, yeah. Rubbing his racing. Yes. Uh oh, you broke your motorcycle? Before we go, though, we started the bike yesterday. I haven't run this thing in a while. So let's fire this thing. breathe a little bit. That's fluid through her. You guys should probably put pants on again. Oh yeah. Well that one's shut back off and it was super nice riding last night with T-Dubs on that bike. Beautiful day. Uh, today's another beautiful day. So let's get this red wheels going. Get to the uh, W9. A little warm in here. Whew. Vet this thing out. Bye-bye. Be back tonight. I'll be able to hang out tomorrow. Most of the day I'll leave tomorrow uh, afternoon. Because I have an early morning appointment. What are these kids doing? Put some clothes on. Go put some pants on. I love you, boys. Hug the one. I will. Bye-bye. Love, love you too. Oh, I'm telling you, absolutely beautiful day for a ride. Got the cows out here grazing. Ooh, I'm going to miss it if he ever sells that uh, property because you know they're going to build townhomes or something there. There she is, just sitting there, pretty, waiting. Let's do a pre-trip on her. Check all of our tires, all of our fluids. And the trailer's nice and clean because last time I was here, I cleaned that trailer out with uh, Kason. It's going to be so cool to see both of them sitting next to each other. Oh man, oh, she's walking her uh, Doberman, not Doberman, German Shepherd, pretty puppy. Let's go, little couple clouds left in the sky. God's grace, beautiful day, 70 degrees. She is looking good, all the tires are great. Um, got my landing gear back up, because the last time I drove this thing is when I went and saw JT to go get that cab over. Uh, not even a week since we went and grabbed that thing. I really appreciate you, JT, I'm glad to, uh, we could collab with you and get your channel going a little bit more too. And I just appreciate everything you did for me, man. And all the, the, the talks, the stories, 
a CB chatter. It's kind of cool hearing him uh, chat. He's he's a veteran CB guy, so learn a little bit from him. Yeah, let's get this thing uh, fired up. Pretty sure I turned off my refrigerator, so it should have good batteries. Oh yeah, we good. What a beautiful sky. And I don't know if you can see that guy on a motorcycle up there, but he's riding uh, with just pants on. No shirt, no nothing. <laughs> I don't go on the highway at all on my bike, just, just for safety reasons. But I know it can happen. Anything can happen. Uh, even just city driving, riding. But yeah, I would definitely have at least a, a nice shirt on if I had to ride on the highway. I don't know. Beautiful. We still got some of those clouds lingering over to the left. Looks like they got rain over there. But back behind us, it's kind of broken up. But beautiful ahead of us and the truck is saying 71 degrees there you go you all moved in over there it used to be nothing there it was like an abandoned warehouse wow what a beautiful day let's roll up here it's about 45 minute drive up here to hendersonville maybe an hour and then um get this on our back get it back here and enjoy our day tomorrow but leave out in the late afternoon tomorrow to get down to walmart at uh what three in the morning they have paved some more of the road. The right lane is even longer now. Uh, looks like they're probably setting up to do it again tonight. Uh, get all this redone, because for a while, there's an interchange right here where it kind of splits off to go straight or take the 385, which is this highway we're on right now, up uh, more, and it was bad. It was a bunch of potholes. Uh, you try and dodge them uh, as you're driving through. So they did that first, just kind of filled that in. Now they're doing the whole road, so awesome. I am appreciative of it. Looks like they're having a little powwow safety meeting, actually, before they get going. Lightning McQueen, I think about it every time. All right, they're getting ready. Where's the trucks at? Bringing the stuff. 85 is actually flowing pretty good down there. Not bad, but it's about 6 o'clock, 6.30. There we go. Those clouds are pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. The sun's going to be shining through and giving us a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. And we're getting a little bit of rain. This is that same route I used to take all the time to get those uh, those dump loads. At Pleasantburg, go around downtown and come on back through kind of Traveler's Rest and go up to Hendersonville. Did this plenty of times. There is that beautiful sun just shining off the road. Just got some heavy rain through here. Uh, we're going to turn off to the right, though, so we won't be seeing the sun anymore or that beautiful sunset. Probably catching my mirrors. What a beautiful shot. God's grace is gorgeous. Grateful to get low, 67 degrees now. Um, kind of just sat all day. There's not a lot of stuff out there. This load was up earlier for $1,400, and then we almost got it for $24, so, or $23. Pretty much did so about a thousand dollars just by waiting till you're needed kind of thing so grateful for that let's go get it on truck i know they load till 10 but i think they want you to check in before eight so we'll be there just before eight um because i remember that from back in the day but they do load till about 10 at night okay like i always say if it's your own truck um uh, i try to go up these these hills these mountains uh empty always Unless it's paying really good, I'll take something up to Knoxville or something like that. Actually, this morning there was one uh, going from Knoxville to Jacksonville, but it was too late for me to get up there and get the appointment. But it was $1,900. It wasn't too bad. Go up and go down so you don't go too far into Florida. Um, yeah, we used to get those for like $2,500 in Jacksonville. We took some like coffee lids one time for Folgers, I want to say, or Maxwell. I don't know. Maxwell House? I don't know. But either way, I always try to go up here empty. Speaking of cab overs, there's one right there. Cool old international. Thank you. Very grateful, like I said, to get that cab over. JT, for him going down there and getting it with me. I mean, it's not even been a week since we got it. And I think it was last Monday, Monday, two weeks ago, we uh, first saw it, you know? So crazy, crazy how things go. We got it running now, we got it moving on its own. Just gotta plumb all the airlines. That's gonna take some water, a little bit of time. And also all the electrical, so. Maybe this weekend, uh, well I'll be down in Florida Saturday. Probably gonna have to deadhead up to Savannah, maybe wait Sunday to um, get something Monday. I don't know, we'll come back Saturday, I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
I'd like to save the fuel and get some more money. So let's get up to Hendersonville. Beautiful through here. The green's starting to come back in the trees. We're just cruising up here about 60 miles an hour. 55, 56 actually. But not, not loaded, so nice and easy. This is the grade that is the worst going up here. If you've watched my channel for a while or if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for the comments about the air conditioner. You guys were saying maybe put a uh, a window back there. I, I wouldn't want just one window, so I'd have to like offset it and do another one on the other side, or maybe one big one. And that's actually a great idea instead of fiberglassing it up. Either make that whole, I'll probably have to make it a little bit bigger. I'll have to try and find a window about that exact size. But that's a pretty good idea because then I can just have the upholstery piece made to have two openings. So. Yeah, I like it. I like your guys' thought. We'll see what we do. North Carolina state line. Okay. My coolant temp got up to about two, almost 200. So yeah, just, just pulling out those hills empty. You're straining the motor a little bit, so. We'll uh, not do that heavy very often, if at all. This is where we wrap back on to 26. 26 kind of takes you down to Spartanburg, the other side of Greenville. We'll go down this for maybe five miles, and then we're gonna go past our pickup because it's just an easier entrance. You can come through like downtown Hendersonville and Main City, but yeah, just go up to the truck stop area and come right back down. Okay, 26, here we are. 62 degrees now. Turn your lights on, little Jeep. Come on. Rainy, you got a bunch of stuffed animals all up here in your dash. Oh man. I'm gonna follow this guy and just get around him. Okay, almost there. So the northbound, well actually southbound too, both way stations are kind of closed right now just for this construction they have going on. I haven't been up here in a while uh, to see that, but yeah, they're uh, making this a lot wider. You can see all those lanes on that side. There used to be just two on both sides. But they need it. Lots of traffic going up to Knoxville. This will take you right to Asheville also. It's right up here another 30 minutes maybe. Uh, but it's, it's road like this the whole way. It's a little rough. Uh, not too bad of a grade. Only if you cut, if you stay on 26 and go up to like Johnson City. New, or, uh, is it Newport I think? No, Newport's an SI. It's real, real grade. A lot of grade going up the mountain. So be careful with your truck is all I'm saying. We're about a mile from our exit. The next one, we'll go get loaded. Here we are. There's all the machinery also. Okay. I think I've stopped here a couple times on road trips with T-Dubs for pee breaks. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, we got the green. There you go. I like it. Roll right into it. I'm gonna stay a little bit to the right because I have nobody behind me. Make this turn. There you go. Right on right. There we go. It's up here on the left. Wondering what all those yellow things are over there. Uh, I don't know what those are. Let me know in the comments if you know what they are. Yeah, a little truck parking over here to the right. Lots of trailers. A bunch of like fleet trucks, like Fords. They have a ton of fleet trucks over there just parked, hanging out. Okay, one, two, five. Way down here. It's like their last warehouse. So they got a pump sucking out the bunch of water and they're building another warehouse right there. They must really make some juice up here. This is all juice. Um, apple juice was big up here. We used to go to a different warehouse on the other side of the 26 and it was crazy. She was telling me a story about it. They used to like have their own apples, squeeze them, whatever, make their, now they import the apple stock, like the innards from overseas and then just mix it there. I'm like, what? Crazy. All right, been here a couple times. You go over here, you back in across the way, and you go talk to them and see what door they're putting you in. The guy used to be here had a, he, he passed away, unfortunately, but had a nice Cobra, uh, GT500. All right, so we can't park right there, so we gotta park next to that last drive-in. Pray that they're in a good mood. It's raining a little bit. Let's go ahead and 
go get checked in. Woo! Windy and rainy. All right. How you doing? Pretty good, man. It's raining. It's on and off. Yeah. Driver's free. Parking the gravel. Uh, that's where you check have door 10 nice lady you can tell she's uh had her uh her day though she's done she's like uh, <laughs> just what do you want what do you need i'm like uh here's my numbers so two orders going down there door 10 i forget what doors they are but i think it's over here she is shining left those flags up there i'm gonna leave them up there just to see if the, how, how they last but i gotta see what door 10 is because i don't see any numbers on any of those ones uh yeah, someone's flying in some bad weather. That is four, so that must be five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to be fun to get into that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is going to be a blind side with limited room. I think I've had this door before with the Volvo. <laughs> all right, door 10. Yeah, it's on the very end. Let's just walk over there and make sure it's all open. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's 10. Pretty close to that wall right there, too. Let's do it. We are gonna come out really wide, wide as we can, and then spin back around towards where we just were. So that we can get our trailer over there on that side. Okay, okay. If that drive in wasn't there, it'd be a little bit easier. But we should have plenty of runway. Yeah, we got plenty of runway. We'll make this happen. We're just going to have to do the good old goal. Get out and look because we're not be able to see that. Uh, and that guy's turned his lights on. He's not that truck next to the door I'm going into. But uh, I'll hold here and see if he's pulling out. Let him pull out before I start blindside backing. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit close to the trees, but it wouldn't be that bad if you didn't have that wall back there. But uh, we'll make it happen. It wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't so close. We're getting it. We got our angle now. Uh, pull up one more time to straighten the trailer out. And that'll let me see on this left side how close I am to that wall. Because I'm about three feet from his trailer right now. Let's see. See that wall? Okay, we're good. It's kind of a little hard too with rain on your mirrors. Gives you a false uh, reading sometimes of what you're doing. Boom. Okay. They also, she said, slide your tandems. If you're new to trucking or you're thinking about being a truck driver, sliding your tandems means your rear tires or your trailer. That's your tandems. Uh, pushing them to the rear. They're adjustable to distri distribute the weight. But the reason they're asking you to do this is so that you, um, it's just a little bit safer, more stability for the uh, <laughs> forklift. So most trucks will have a little pull pin right there for air. Uh, I'm gonna move it over just a little bit more to, to that side because we're I like to be perfectly straight. But uh, you really sad to pull some pins in on both sides. There's two of them that let you slide back and forth. If you're new to trucking, that's something I did not know when I first started trucking. Pretty quick load. Uh, that poor guy next to me, he's still here. Went live for a little bit. Thanks for everybody that popped in there. I think it was like 45 minutes. Uh, but she has to put the seal on, so I gotta pull my truck out. Get these doors closed. <clears throat> Give her a uh, place they put the seal on. But yeah, thanks for going live with me, guys. A lot of K100 questions and all that stuff. Check out that live feed. This guy's kind of stopped right here. You don't want to, when you're loaded heavy, you don't want to close your uh, doors turned on an angle. They won't turn, they won't close, first of all. So, I like to keep my truck straight so you can close your doors. We'll do that and we'll slide our cameras. 
Okay, she's sealing it up. We're ready to go. And we're out of here. I had to wait a little bit, this guy. I don't know what he was doing, but he was just sitting there. So we are clear of that truck behind us. Tandems are slid. Got our headlights on. Got to change our whips. So I put them on auto. They just kind of go through all the little light patterns they can do. But that is illegal. So we'll go back to orange. There we go. Oh, that's red, sorry. Orange, there you go. <laughs> I don't think you should want to ride with the red ones up. So he's gonna stay over there. All right, 38,000 pounds, I'll take it. Got our bills. Let's go, let's get back home. Hanging out with FedEx, made it down the grade. It is windy. I'm doing about 50 miles an hour, just keeping it slow, keeping it safe. I'm gonna stop at the Sphinx though, see if they have any of those chicken sandwiches left. Even though it's a little bit later at night, maybe they do. I'm hungry. Mm. I think so. Yeah, I settled for just some tenders because they didn't have any sandwiches. Let's get home. We are back. Oh, look at those clouds. And they are working on the road. Awesome. Tax dollars at work. Let's get this truck tucked away. We'll be probably leaving by mid-afternoon tomorrow. Three o'clock appointment in the morning. So I want to make sure we're there early in case any mishaps happen on the way down, which I hope not. But uh, yeah, uh, looks like yeah, they're down to one lane over there. But I appreciate them doing that in the middle of the night. So there's less traffic. All right, let's put this big, big girl away. Probably close this video in the morning when we take the boys to school. Gotta admit, I do like those flags. Let's get home, let's get some sleep. We gotta open the top. You made a house for the frog, huh? Is he in there? Mm -hmm. No, he escaped. He escaped. Does he have a door or anything to get out? Yes, he has a door. Ah. He probably jumped out of here. Probably jumped out of there and went back to his family. Yeah. That was nice. He had a nice house to sleep in there for the night. Yeah, there's a bee in there. There was, huh? You that guys... was his food. That was his food. Yeah, <laughs> Good morning. Beautiful morning. 66 for a high today. Okay. Is that what she said? Uh, yeah. That's what she what might, be, said. might be coming back. So Miss Rich yeah. had a baby, so she'll be coming back soon. Oh, watch out, Kia. I need all the room to make this turn, but we got some sun today. High of 66. Our right, Kason, what'd you get? What's that little thing right there, Kason? Rockstar. No, right here. Oh, Rockstar? Yeah. From the teacher? Heck yeah. Seatbelts no, off? No, music teacher. Music teacher. Man, you're going to be musical like your mom. and seeing karaoke. I love you, boys. Be awesome. Be kind. One of them has a mohawk. It is Friday. It is pizza day. Have yeah, great good. days. Okay. All right. Go, I'll guys. The there you go. Love you, boys. Thank you. I got to love you from... Uh, It's <laughs> getting hugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kason is loved. Cash is like, see ya. All right. Let's go to school. Friday. What an absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, it says 52 out here, but it feels a little warmer than that. I'll probably close this video here, guys, and I will uh, start another one for tomorrow. Just grateful to get a load. Grateful to get them off to school. Hang out with Kyle and the T-Dubs for a little bit today, and we'll probably get out of here before the boys get out of school. But on that note, guys, God bless you. I'm going to hang out with these two and wait for T-Dubs and Tank to get rolling and get some coffee, some hammer down coffee, and uh, head on down to Florida. I'm grateful to have a load. I'm grateful for all you guys hanging out with me with that K100. We'll get more and more done, but I'm um, going to measure the air conditioner in the back and see if we can fit windows up there. Kind of see what that would look like. Two of them, of course. I wouldn't just have one offset. I'd have to have two. But on that note, like I said, God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.